Welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, will you also leave? When many of his disciples heard it, they said, This is a hard saying. Who can listen to it? But Jesus, knowing in himself that his disciples were grumbling about this, said to them, Do you take offense at this? After this, many of his disciples turned back and no longer walked with him. So Jesus said to the twelve, Do you want to go away as well? Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. St. John 6, 66 through 69. In many cases, the beginning of a journey is not necessarily the difficult part, but rather as we approach the middle or near the end, that's when things can become a bit tedious. Many times we are so eager to start something, having joy and happiness as it begins, but then as time goes on and things begin to change, that joy is then replaced by sorrow. Many times we are excited to start a new job, elated to meet our new co-workers, supervisor, and our boss. But as time goes by and people begin to be themselves, then all of a sudden we want to leave the job that we were so excited about. Many of us are excited to move out of our parents' house and have our own apartments and say, free at last, free at last, until reality kicks in and you realize that you're alone. Now you wish you had those same annoying parents to wake you up. The Lord was pretty clear when he was calling us. He told us that if any of us should follow him, we'd have to pick up our cross. He did not give specifics of what all of us would be going through because people are different and therefore we have different temptations and different trials. But nonetheless, we should remember God has equipped us to be able to overcome every trial. The scripture said, You are of God, little children, for you have overcome the world for greater is he that is in you and he that is in the world. Before us is a very interesting story. At one point, Jesus had about 70 disciples and he gave them power to heal the sick, to cast out devils, and he sent them out to preach the gospel. It's always good to be in a position of power and authority. It's always good to be in the winning position. As these disciples came back, they were all rejoicing and saying, Master, even the very devils be subject to your name. But then Jesus' response seemed a little bit underwhelming. He said they should not rejoice over the power and the miracles, but rather rejoice that their name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. We are happy when things are good. We are happy when we've got all our friends around us. We are happy when our family members are fine. We are happy when things are going well. And that's the difference between happiness and joy. The word happiness comes from a word, happenstance, which means you feel elated when something good happens. But then when something bad happens, then happiness is removed and replaced with sorrow. But when we talk about joy, the joy of the Lord is our strength. The joy of the Lord keeps us in the good days and is also there in the bad days. The joy of the Lord is with us when our bellies are full and is with us even when our bellies are empty. 72 disciples were with Jesus, but then he said something that they didn't like. They became offended, and then 60 of them walked away and stopped following the master. It's not just now people are getting discouraged and leaving the church. They did it also even to Jesus. But we have to be reminded, it's not about the crowd. It's about the remnant. The crowd was excited about the miracles, but when it came time to tell them the word, they left feeling hurt. When Jesus looked, he saw the twelve. He said, will he also go? Peter understood it was more than miracles. Peter understood it was more than just being there in the good times. Peter's response was powerful. He said, to whom shall we go? Because you have the word of eternal life. They chose to remain with the Lord. They chose to stay with the Lord. There must be a remnant. Somebody must be willing to stay with the Lord. Even when the church is not on fire like it used to be, there must be somebody who still hang on, even though you're troubled on every side. A question to you today, child of God. Will you also go, or will you be among the twelve? The quote of the day, God's not only there in the good times, he's there also in the bad times. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube, your support is much appreciated.